morning. Welcome back to Salty Country. This morning, I'm going to go through the uh, issue with the engine not shutting off. So over the last week, I've uh, been troubleshooting it, figured out the problem. So if you have an issue with your 303C-CR uh, cat excavator, stick around and I'll show what we did to fix the problem. All right, I want to update everyone on the progress of the troubleshooting on the um, engine shutoff issue. What we're going to do is uh, I'm going to show you uh, where we've gotten so far. Uh, I put a new fuel priming pump on it. The other one seemed like it was working fine. It sounded fine, but I put a new one on it. It's cheap. It's 80 bucks or something like that. But, um, I got the Caterpillar wiring diagram. So this issue is tracked back to a couple issues. If you turn the switch off and the machine does not shut off, it's either the timer relay or the engine shut off relay. So I want to explain real quick what we've done today to eliminate that the engine shutoff solenoid was good or bad. So let me get turned around here. Okay, the first thing you got to do to troubleshoot this problem is you got to pull the seat. So you got a bolt here, a bolt here, and a bolt in the back corner. That allows you to pull the seat off the machine. I've got a flashlight down in here, and I'll see if I can zoom in and show you exactly what I'm talking about. The, the fuel shutoff solenoid is... Uh, let me see that round you see that uh, round thing down there that's the fuel shutoff solenoid you got your throttle linkage that solenoid on the 303C-CRs has a pink wire which is you see that pink wire coming off the harness it has one plug that goes into the end of that solenoid. So what we did today was I fired the machine up and I had a jumper wire. And so I had my wife hold the, hold the wire by the battery positive. She didn't, she didn't uh, put it on the positive. I put the wire onto the end of the solenoid. I unplugged it and the tab where the uh, connector slides on, I put the wire onto that tab and I had her touch the positive of the battery and the machine shut off. So that tells me that the engine shut off timer or the engine shutoff relay is bad. So I ordered the uh, engine shutoff timer and the shutoff relay. It's gonna be one of the two. Uh, I was dreading having to pull the shutoff solenoid. There's no easy way to get to it. It looks like when you look in there that you almost gotta pull the engine to be able to get to it. It's a very tough area to get to, but good news with our test, the solenoid's good. So if the solenoid gets fire, the machine's going to shut off. So I've ordered the, uh, the two parts from cat. I'll pick those up on Monday and, um, hopefully, uh, one of those two fixed the problem. If, 
if that doesn't fix the problem, then it's got to be an issue with the wiring from the solenoid, one of the two solenoids to this. The machine was shutting off and running fine um, when I picked it up. So I think one of the relays or the, or the timer switch has just gone bad. So um, that's, that's the route we're going. So stay tuned. I'll post more as we, as we get further along with this and tell you exactly which relay or, or timer switch corrected it. We're going to try to replace one at a time, depending on how difficult it is to get to either one of them. But um, I do highly recommend, if you ever have this issue, go on to the Heavy Equipment Forum. Uh, that's a great site. I went on there yesterday. I found a, I found a thread that was a 303 problem. He had a glow, pro, glow plug problem and engine shutoff problem. So his in his situation, the previous owner had wired around the problem to to make it to where the machine would shut off and, and the glow plug would work or whatever. But I posted on that thread. That thread was from 2016. There's a very knowledgeable guy. His his uh, uh, username was Nigel. I uh, posted on that thread from 2016, and within 15 minutes, he had posted back and and started giving me input. Uh, it turned out that the that the uh, wiring diagram or schematic that they had on the site for the 303C that they were discussing in that thread was different than the 303C that I have. So I give him my serial number and he sent me the uh, cat schematic of the wiring. Uh, it's very intimidating when you look at it for the first time, but it comes with two pages. The first page explains all the symbols, lets you know what everything is and shows you where it's at on the machine, where you can find it. Very good information. I think Cat wants to charge around a hundred bucks to give you these two pages of uh, information. But if you ever have a problem like this, go on the heavy equip equipment forum. When I end up posting this and publishing it, I will add the heavy equipment forum link to help anybody out. It's a, Nigel is a very knowledgeable guy um, he told me which wire did what through the process, and I studied the the diagram, the wiring diagram, and got familiar with it. I mean, when you look at these wiring diagrams for this thing, there's like a thousand different things on it, and you're like, where do I start? But on the first page, you can go, all right, engine, cut, engine shut off solenoid. It will give you a alphanumeric number, which guides you through where that part is located on the machine. And it'll also guide you through the diagram of where you can find that specific part on the wiring diagram. So it's very, very helpful. So I want to quickly record what I've done and explain uh, what fix the issue um, next to the fuse panel below the seat there's uh, another panel it's got two bolts here and one up top you remove that panel and right here on this right side on the inside there's a bolt coming toward the front of the machine and the engine stop relay our engine shutoff relay is right there. So you have to take the bolt out of it, which is very tight. You gotta be careful that you don't hit your wrench because there's a lot of wiring in here. It's an eight millimeter. So you, you gotta work, work that uh, bolt out and you can swing the whole harness out into this opening 
and you can pop on a new uh, relay. I just fired it up and turned the switch off and machine shuts off. So uh, this uh, issue was just the uh, engine shut off relay went bad. So real quick, here's the part number, the cat part number, 266-6935. It's about 80 bucks, I think, that's what I give for it. But also, I wanna walk back here and show every, everyone else that's got a machine like this. All these BXT serial number model machines, uh, I didn't notice this the other night when I disconnected the fuel line to get to shut down. But if your machine, if that relay ever fails, and the engine won't shut off when you turn the key off. There is a cable and a ring, pull ring, right here. This is the manual shut off. You just pull that, shuts the engine down. So I, I hope this helps. I'm gonna put all these videos that I've done uh, troubleshooting this problem. I'm gonna put all them together and explain exactly what I did when I was troubleshooting the issue. Thanks for watching. Remember, like and subscribe. I hope this information's been helpful. Uh, as I run along, uh, run up on an issue with a piece of equipment, I'll try to document it so it's helpful. There's very little uh, on YouTube about these CAT 303Cs, uh, CRs. So um, anything I have uh, to do to this machine. I'm going to document it so it'll help somebody else out. But thanks for watching. See you on the next one.